Ironing whilst I sleep is not only a great feeling, but a sigh of relief. No longer do I slave away hours of my time just to pay next month's bills. Instead, I do the work, set up the right systems and let the money come in. This was all made possible for me by selling Framer website templates. And you can do the exact same. If you're new here, my name is Ramesh. I've been a product designer for over five years now. Since 2024, I've been building my Framer template business and it's completely transformed my life. It started out as a side hustle, but now it's becoming one of my main income streams. I can easily take multiple days off work and not worry about having to work extra hours once back, just to make sure my expenses are covered. Instead, I can easily relax during my time off while still getting paid so I don't need to worry about finances. And this business model doesn't just bring me an extra bit of money, but has also improved my standard of living. Those of you following my journey will know that Framer Templates has helped me relocate my family to the city of my dreams. And more recently, I was able to get the Apple Studio Display, a monitor I've been wanting since launch. None of this would have been possible without selling Framer templates. In this video, I'm going to share how you can get started with selling Framer website templates so that you can live the way you want. First of all, I need to address this question I get asked almost every day now. It is not too late for you to start. A lot of designers I talk to are seeing the potential for templates, but thinks it's saturated and that their template won't sell. That is completely untrue. Personally, I think selling Framer website templates is only just getting started and I'll give you two reasons why. First of all, selling website templates is not a new way of making money. It's been around for a long time. I remember creators selling Tumblr and WordPress themes, which surprisingly, there's still people out there creating and selling these themes today. It's crazy to see how these templates still sell, despite the platform being so outdated now, but it just shows that there has been and still is a market for website templates. You also have Squarespace and Webflow templates. So yeah, don't worry, you can still get started today. The second reason is specific to Framer. The platform is still very new. End of August this year, the company raised $100 million in funding. They're consistently launching new features every month and increasing their marketing campaigns. What this means is that the platform is getting more and more awareness, which means that more founders, agencies, and design and marketing teams will be looking to use Framer to build websites. This is where your templates come in providing that high quality solution at an affordable rate and empowers these players to launch websites quickly. In short, as Framer grows, so will your template earnings. Another question I get asked often is around AI. And here's the thing, AI is great at generating some high quality visuals, but what it lacks is context and user experience. Every website has its own individual goals, whether that's listing products, showcasing portfolio, promoting an online course. And so creating a website that effectively meets those goals requires intention, a great user experience, and a thorough understanding of the business and the target audience. This is something that AI can't replicate yet, and I don't see it happening for a while now. Instead, I would view AI as an assistant for creating your templates. I have a dedicated video showing my process in using AI to build my framer templates. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. So yeah, don't worry about AI taking over. Instead, use the technology to improve your workflow. Right, let's get down to it. Building your first template can seem daunting. Often I get asked what kind of website to build as a template. The answer is really simple. Choose a template that you have experience in already. If you have experience or preference in a particular niche like real estate, e-commerce, whatever it may be, then that's the kind of website your first template should be. If you have some work done for a client, then you can use that as a starting base for your template. But just make sure to ask your client first if they're comfortable with their site's design being sold as a template. Once you've built your template, you need to list it online as a digital product. I personally use Lemon Squeezy, but there's so many options out there. So have a search and choose one that suits you. Now that your template is built, it's time to market it. This is an area I see so many designers lack. They just build a template, list it online, and expect sales to come rushing in. That's never gonna happen. If no one sees it, then no one will buy it. So you have to promote your template. There are a few different options to take, but getting started with your template business, the first thing I would do is list it on Framer's Marketplace. This is a great place to get some visibility, and it goes back to my point before. 
with Framer continuously growing, more and more people will land on their marketplace and find your template. But again, don't just expect sales to come rushing in as soon as it's listed on the marketplace. You need to promote your template on your own channels. Starting out with your first template, I would use social media. Personally, I started off on X or Twitter, but it's really your choice on where to begin so long as you stick to one channel and not multiple at a time. When promoting on social media, you'll want to attract the right audience for your template. If you're posting on multiple platforms, you'll spread yourself out too thinly and won't get much attraction in any of them. Stick to one channel to begin with, and then once you've gained an audience you can monetize from, then look towards other channels. Here are some tips I wish I knew when I was starting out. First of all, you need to create a design that stands out. If it doesn't look good, then no one will bother to check it out. So spend some time designing some great UI. Just make sure to not overdo it which leads to my second point. Your customers aren't just purchasing a pretty design or layout. They expect good results to come with their new website. Your template is meant to be the high quality solution that helps your audience launch their site fast and start bringing in sales for their business. Over the top animations and effects that have no relevance is nothing more than just a distraction. On top of this, it only adds on complexity, making it more challenging for non-Framer users to come into your file and make changes. My third tip is lots of marketing. Honestly, whether you get sales or not comes down to marketing. So the time you spend on building your template, spend just as much, if not more, on your marketing strategy. My last tip is stick to the plan. Too many times I've seen designers bouncing between different businesses, usually templates or freelancing and this only slows them down. They get caught up on deciding which direction to take, and as a result, what they post online can come across as confusing. And I was the exact same, switching between different business ideas, which only hindered my progress. Don't get me wrong, don't abandon everything you have going on. You still need to make money, but be more intentional with your time and your online presence. If you focus on creating this digital product business, then I don't see why you can't make five, 10, or even 25,000 plus dollars a month from selling website templates. That's it for this video. I'm keen to know if you'll be starting your template business this year. So let me know in the comments below or message me on X. If you like this, then watch this video to see how I'm challenging myself to earn $15,000 with website templates only in less than three months from now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.